We are finally finished with secondary research. Now we will transition into primary research. Also, spring break is right around the corner. Okay, this week, primary research. As opposed to secondary research, which is your use of other people's publications, primary research is made up of data that you collect from a study that you design. Got it? Primary research can take many forms. The broadest division is quantitative versus qualitative. Quantitative deals more with a numerical snapshot, like statistics. Qualitative deals more with people's more subjective interpretations of their surroundings. If you've never designed or conducted a research study before, that's okay. If you already knew all the answers, then what would be the point of taking this class, right? If you've never designed or conducted a research study before, that's okay. This week's readings by Seth Kahn and Dana Driscoll will give you a lot to think about as you go about crafting your own study. I would recommend reading Driscoll first to know the basics and then following up with Khan to learn more about the ethics of good research design. I will say, as an undergraduate student, you are not obligated to get informed consent, though I would encourage you to do so, or to propose your research to the university's Institutional Review Board, or IRB, which is a committee that helps you research human subjects in an ethical manner. As a faculty member, I'm required to do that, but as an undergraduate student, you are not. But I do want you to devise your own study and carry it out so that you can include primary research in your paper. The different kinds of primary research, as you'll notice in the Blackboard discussion post-assignment sheet for this week, are observations, either public or private. With private, you should get permission. Interviews with one or multiple people and surveys. Make sure that you think about the sample size and accurately representing a population with surveys. You should first design your study, second propose it, and then between now and getting back after spring break, launch it to collect data that you can analyze in your paper. When we return from spring break, we will go into more depth into the requirements for the paper, like number of sources, sections to include, formatting requirements, and a bunch of other small details. We'll also get more into the peer review and drafting parts of the writing process, so that before you know it, you will have vanquished English 102. <laughs>